Hi Manu, hi Alex. I am just getting everything together because I almost forgot I was supposed to be streaming. So I'm just gathering all my stuff. Port. Right, let's get going then, shall we? So, you might not know, but I did do a little bit of grinding off stream. Basically, for upgrades to my weapon and my armor, because it all takes stuff that's really rare and hard to find. So, Dragon's Tooth is now at plus 5, our Great Sword is now at plus 10, and we've got a couple of shields upgraded as well, in case we ever want to use them. But yeah, it would literally, it literally took me hours to get that stuff. So we've upgraded our chest piece, and our legs and hands as well. So now we have this lovely place to explore, the Tomb of Giants, and I actually forget where I'm supposed to go in here, but I know there's archers and stuff around here that I can find somewhere, like I literally just legged it down these giant coffins to get to the bonfire. <gasps> Some people would call it cheating Dave. I would just call it taking a page out of Batman's book and being prepared. So, let's go and talk to this lovely fellow, shall we? Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Should I tell him I'm a cleric? What do you think? I'm going to say no, because I'm no. not. Really? Hmm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, we're friends now. So I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> oh, so nice of him. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Look at all that treasure. Just waiting down there for us. Absolute best. <laughs> this is what I do, my friend. The trinkets I'll be stripping off. What a cunt. That's the real treasure. <laughs> Oh well, let's pick up the treasure, shall we? Soul, soul. And the skull lantern. So that's where you can actually get it from. So, let's see what we can find. Is there anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Now the big question. What the hell is that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about these things. Wiggly skeletons. Yeah, 
Yeah, these things are weird as fuck. It's just like a stack of skeletons on top of each other. Luckily, I have a big blunt weapon. And stuff in Dark Souls works off Dungeons and Dragons rules. So blunt weapons are really good against skeletons and the like. Although I can't remember where the way out is. <gasps> is this? You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, and my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? Yep, I will go murder them both for you. Because that's what oh we do. God, yeah, she's just saying the same thing. So where are they? There's one. He's healing as well, cheeky bugger. But you are no match for my hacker armor. Whoop, whoop. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. <gasps> so they had names. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. And we get loot. I am certain that both. Thank you. So she gave us a spell. It's a pretty cool spell, but not one I'll be using. Common miracle amongst cleric knights, gradual HP restoration. Beware of the cleric knight blessed by replenishment, for he shall not fall easily. I actually used that spell loads on my first playthrough just because of how good it is. Like literally you can pop replenishment and wade into stuff and your health just gradually goes up while you're fighting. So, what's this way? Another wiggly. And more wigglies. And a ladder. Perfect. Left or right? What a dick. Left it is then. It's around here. There's more people shooting at me at least. You're a dead end. The size of those arrows as well. Just wandering around with it sticking out my arm. Let's go down this way. Down here. I see big skeletons. Wonder if I can jump that gap. Oh, I can. And more big skeletons. You can hear them all just running around. Doesn't appear to be any way up to get to those archers though. No. Right, let's go beat up some big skeletons. Or try to at least. Oh yeah, they all got that slam move, don't they? Health, please. See that when he holds his sword in two hands and like slams it down. That move is in every Souls game. 
And yeah, they're giant skeletons. Right, what's over this way? Hi, Danny! So I am um, continuing my what the hell am I doing in Dark Souls 1 playthrough. I have made it to the Tomb of Giants. Got my ass clicked off a cliff by patches, and now I can't remember where to go. So, I'm assuming that bit is done. So let's go. That's the ladder I came up. At least I have my fancy hat to wear. That means patches must be back this way. Let's go and call him an asshole, shall we? Oh, you. I. <laughs> Well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These it's the hat I'm wearing. Temptations. They can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, you and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? See, he looks a bit like Bart, so I might just forgive him. Because I can't be mean to Bart. Oh, brilliant. A second chance. Wonderful! I had a feeling you'd understand. I did. But uh, if I were in your shoes, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yeah, the the hat I'm wearing is the sunlight mega. You get it in uh, Isolith at the shortcut door. One of the little maggots that has red eyes, when you kill it, you get this. You can wear it as a hat. And it saves you just messing around with the the lantern constantly. Now. There's a fog door. There's a creepy skeleton. Can I rush him? I can. Oh, it's only a little fog door, it's not a big one. Right, there's another archer I can hear. And a knight! I forgot that we were any of you guys left. That was the wrong way. Looks like the the knight followed me though. Seeing as I got a white chunk. Right. Attempt number two. Just patches again. Oh, bad. There. Yeah, I can't hear those knight's footsteps anymore. It sounds like it fell off. Oops. Right. What is this way? Apart from the guy shooting at me. The guy shooting at me at impossible angles as well. Let's top off a bit before we do more exploring. Stop it. There's a way down. So what's over this way? Or is this just the way I came it's the way I came in? No, right or left. Let's go right.
we're heading towards an item. Effigy shield. Which one's this one? Small shield. Frightful occult shield defends against divine weapons and lightning. Cool. An ill-fated plot to destroy the very gods the followers of the occult once attempted to steal the power of Grave Lord Nito, the first of the dead. So it's got ninety percent physical and a ninety percent lightning. Cool. There's another bonfire there as well, just below us make our way to it. So here we have more bones and here we have a path down. Where's another one of you fellas? Hi Kira. I am in the big scary zone. attack is actually quite fast and don't walk into the pit where was that bonfire is it still below us is it this way this way yeah I have already fallen off once so get rid of the things that I don't want in my inventory because I always confuse myself if I don't. You in there. In fact, do I have enough to level up? That might be enough. I do just more strength. And yeah, there's going to be lots of dead today. Lots of it. You again. That attack really hurt. Boy, Sherry. Right, so that way was to the bonfire, so this way or am I expected to just try and jump that gap doesn't look like it like this is all one texture and you're usually not good at jumping upwards ok let's try it I've only just leveled up it's not going to affect out It worked. Don't think it was supposed to work, but it did. And there's more wigglers. And now everything is shooting at me. Should be wigglers. And I think that was the silver serpent ring I got, which gives me more souls. And a Titanite chunk. Which way do I go now? This way. Oh, maybe I was supposed to just jump up there. <gasps> Oi, Kelly! Another item. More white titanite chunks. See, all the white titanite is for holy damage stuff, which I'm not going to be able to use because I'm not allowed to use magic. And there's more of these guys. <laughs> How did you manage that, Dave?
See, the best thing about this helmet that I'm wearing, it shows light further than the, the lantern does. Normally, the, you can't see these guys until you actually aggro them. And there's actually nothing over here. Useful. Right, what's down this way? This is going to be the way to the boss, isn't it? So we've got behind me, in front of me, and down. Let's go behind. Another brave warrior. drinks of choice at Starbucks, I almost always get a vanilla latte because I am boring. So these are dead bits of the things I splatted earlier. Got a ladder down. Yeah, that's all that's here. And you get this nice view out into the fog and the arch trees. So down we go. <laughs> nice one, Dave. That's right, Dave, you're old now anyway, so your knees aren't worth anything anyway. And is that something broken down there? It's like a broken texture or something. Just floating in the air. Right. It is, it's just something floating out in space. So we've got a tunnel. Ah, oh, I've missed the lizard. It's a rib cage, just floating in space. Cappuccino with two extra s shots, or a large mocha frappe with three extra shots. Be bouncing off the walls with all that. Right. Down into the mysterious tunnel we go. Where we have... Another cliff. And more wigglies. Uh, I don't think I'll get invaded because I'm not human at the moment. Oh yeah, you said you worked at Costa before. See, I actually prefer Costa to Starbucks as well. Like, me and my mate Ashley would. Like, if we were working late at work we'd get Costa in town before we actually went into work. Ah, another one. And that one popped up behind me. Oh, you can see the frame rate freaking out on those things. That usually only happens on stuff that's far away. <gasps> there he is. Yeah, we're just saying, Ashley, how. <laughs> Me and you both prefer Costa over Starbucks. Oh, more pinwheels. And baby skeletons. As if this place wasn't creepy enough already. Took 
the furlough one gone. Right. Get this pinwheel. See if any of them drop the other masks. Yeah, Black Forest hot chocolate at Christmas. The best thing at Costa. Stop it. Come on, are you going to drop a mask for me or not? Apparently not. And I've still got the babies following me. And this was where I came from, apparently. Item. This definitely looks like the entrance to the boss room. So we will go and have a quick look round. This is the secret tunnel. And we've had slab, a white titanite slab. Again for holy weapons, which I won't be using. But that's where you get it. Oh yeah, these baby ones pretty much respawn infinitely as well. Like they just get back up again shortly afterwards. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> boss room it is, let's go and die horribly on the first attempt. I think this is the boss room anyway. Or not. Oh no, that looks very much like the boss room. So half health, no Estus. Is there anything useful? Tell you what. Boom, cheeky heal. So at least start it on full health, shall we? I say full health, take damage rolling into the boss room. Right, come on, Nito, where are you? There he is. Boss man himself. Now he's going to do sword stance. Wow. Not even sword stance. So I do a be decent bit of damage to him. I'm just going to make it there now. So, it is down. And then, round the corner. And then down. Down the ladder. And then around here. Oh well. This is a long ass boss run. Oh 
And then we have pinwheels alive again. Yes, they are. By fuming. So, let's top up. I don't think there's actually any way of going into this boss arena without losing a chunk of health. So, oh, no way. Going for the sword straight away, you so that's just mean. But you guys get splatted. But I know you're coming back again because I didn't get any souls for killing you. I'll need to do your screen. How did that miss him? Right, so he's big and very slow with his swings. Run away from the scream. And the amount of S to sign up, I did not notice. That's going to be a spell. Get away. He's going to scream again. Are still in range. So, yeah, fuming. I have played Dark Souls before, about seven years ago. And uh, Wayne, that isn't dung. That's dung. But yeah, this is my second time ever playing Dark Souls. So, let's reverse hollowing. Yeah, first time I played Dark Souls, I did a faith strength build. And I had the Zweihander all the way through. Had it leveled as a, like a blessed weapon or faith weapon, however you call it. And I did summons and everything, so this time I am trying to do it. I can remember where to go. This way. This time I am trying to do it as many of the bosses as I can without using any summons, without using any kind of spells, because I had a bet with a friend. I lost the bet. And his decision was no spells of any kind. So no sorceries, no pyromancy, no miracles. Now, I 
think there is an invasion that happens here. If I run down this way a bit. Paladin Leroy. Oh, he's right in front of us. Bye bye. Picked up humanity. Picked up a lot of souls. And Sanctus, whatever that does. Which one is Sanctus? Is it the Grant is there you go, there's your big faith hammer. Legendary weapon of the way of white granted to an undead paladin long ago. This mass of iron can only be lifted by those with inhuman strength. It is blessed and very addictive against Oi! I am reading things here. Little shit. Blasted and very effective against Agents of the Dark. So yeah, it's got... Faith on it. So it'll stop on dead stuff. And then we've got Sanctus Shield. Legendary Weapon of the Way of the White. Granted to an undead paladin long ago, once blessed with the protection of the White. Flame, its power has all but faded, but provides only slight HP recovery. I wonder if I can... Put it on my back for the HP recovery. But now I'm fat rolling. Bugger it. So, back to Nito we go with a bit more healing this time. I reckon I'll be able to get him this time, it shouldn't be too bad. Go around this guy. around these guys. Run our way around all the pinwheels. And avoid the babies. I am remembering more of this game as I play it, like the areas I get to, but there is still some stuff where I look and go, what am I supposed to be doing? Um, what, the ones I like most, or? It's always going to be health. Like it's the same for all games like this. Health is your your buffer against mistakes more than anything else. Like you can level up your weapon as much as you like, do as much damage as you like. If you've not got enough health to stick around and actually learn stuff, then it's no point. Heal up. Splat these two. Splat this one. Remember that leads Nito as a late swinger. And then roll away. Nope. Get caught in a corner by skeletons. again. This is such a long run. I think that thing just jumped off the edge. I 
Yeah, first time I did Nito, I think I remember did it, I did it with at least one summon. It might have been an NPC, but I was also using a holy weapon, so all the skeletons and stuff in that room, once you kill them, they stay dead once you kill them with a holy weapon. Got him. Twinkling. Oh, are you using the app fuming or are you using like the the website? Plus it's usually a pretty chill chat anyway. Right, let's try not to get trapped in a corner this time, shall we? Did that straight away. Luckily, I got the heal off, so it only did a little bit. So ignore you guys. Go for the big one. He's doing the scream. Let's run away. That scream is. Sword from the ground. He's going to do the scream. I got like a pixel left. I have. Such a messy fight. Gonna explode again. fight is so messy. Hi Kona, you're alright. I am just dying horribly to this boss. Um, rent. It actually requires 50 strength and 30. I was thinking about grabbing that faith weapon for a second, but I actually need faith to be able to wield it, so bugger it. 
I went the wrong way again. Oi. Oi. Yeah, I'll have a coffee if you're getting one, Kel. You won't a fucking coffee, mate. I was busy fighting a boss. And getting my ass kicked, mainly. But his swings seem to take out the skeletons as well. It's just... If they chase me somewhere Get close, good. I get my ass handed to me. I'm trying to get good. in Nito's room do I? Um, which one's Mask of the Child? Yeah, it's stamina. Let's put the cloth, hel cloth helmet back on. Right, so he's over this way. You know what? I might just wait for him to come to me. Because there's only these three little skeletons here. And I don't know if the big ones follow him or not. This is going to be the scream. Just on the edge of it there. Yeah, the big skeletons haven't aggroed. Well, now one of them has, but... No, don't do it. He's grabbed me. Is this going to be an instant death, or...? No. Get him. Way to jinx yourself. Gotcha, you bastard. Yeah, I just needed to not aggro the other skeletons. 
Whoop, whoop. So we have killed the dead thing. Which means... Oh, this lot have just exploded and died. Cool. Is there anything else in here? Any cool items as a bonfire? It's an item. Paladin stuff. Ah, these are all dead. Whoop whoop, Nito dead. So let's head back to. Uh. Firelink. <laughs> I managed it, didn't I, Dave? Oh yeah, the Lord Soul is a key item, isn't it? Oh yeah, well, let's drag all these out. I did win. He's dead, isn't he? Some light maggot we don't need anymore. We have two masks of the child. Paladin stuff can go into the box. Black iron stuff I'm wearing. So, where do we want to go next? We can go back to the asylum. We can go to Anor Londor. We could go to the Duke's archives. We could go to the woods. Where do we think would be good to go? Tempted to do Duke's archives, to be honest. We've got a little bit of Anna Orlando to go through to get there, so. Um, Anna Orlando. I know it's all going to be dark because I killed that woman in it. I say killed her, she wasn't real in the first place, she was an illusion. 
<laughs> so we have this bonfire. So let's go do some dark and Orlando stuff, shall we? And then we'll go to Duke's archives. Not that there isn't much to do in Dark and Orlando, but... On your stupid left. I have a firekeeper to kill. Show how so has the coldest armor. Down we go. Is she on this bit? on the bottom one. I think she's on the bottom one. So we'll go down and grab the bonfire right at the bottom. Whoosh. Oh no, she's there. Right, that was dumb. Let's go back again. Hi, Brina. I just killed Nito, you missed it. Took me like five, six tries. Now we have this lady. No talk, only smash. Not much can stand up to my heavy attack. A threat. Master Thank you. Now we go down again. Don't just push it the wrong way. And go down. Not my top. This way. And then this way again. <laughs> I did technically. You could also say that I tactically avoided aggroing too many enemies. Right, is this where I'm supposed to go? No, that's where the painting guys are, so down the stairs. Yeah, I, I tactically stood in the corner to avoid aggroing extra, extra mobs so I could actually hit the boss. That's what we'll call it. I was using uh, well-time-tested World of Warcraft tactics. So now we have the path Gwendolyn. Not got anything to level up, so it's just going to be going and fight him. So this is usually where you can join the Dark Moon. But instead, I'm going to go in and kill another god. Heretic. 
first thou offended the This is my paddy cup as well if you've not seen it. One of my mates at work bought at me when they realised my guild was called Paddy Irishman. I am the dark sun, Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for my felonies commence it. And now for the fake infinite corridor. Because it's not actually infinite. You can chase him to the end of it. The big thing still goes through. That's cheating. Got him. It's only going to take a couple of hits, you know. Serpentine! Serpentine! Got two in! If I don't get hit by all his spells. Now, let's see if the bonfire works. Or if it bugs out like it did in Alex's game. No, it's bugged out and put me up here. Weird. not supposed to do this because I sat down at the bonfire outside Quinlan so it should have set my spawn there but for some reason it likes to bug out and didn't and now oh, I'm gonna have to walk the rafters I didn't want to have to do this again. Right, drop down. My coffee has just been delivered. get these rafters done with. So. Get the little shield on. This is so much worse in the dark as well. Come back this way and fight me. Yep, that'll do me. Now, this one comes. Alright, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. And now I can pull the switch to bring it back up. Uh, 
I have to pull the switch again. Oh no, it's done it. And then down to and back to fight the boss. So I've got to remember to just hide from the projectiles, don't bother trying to roll through them or anything. Miss magic ones anyway. I spat in that coffee, M8. Did you? Aw. Oh, just means I get extra. Just like I licked your waffle last night. And your ice cream. And your drink. It's because I've put the Welsh one on for a laugh. He has a Welsh accent. But I've not seen what in any other TTS spam or anything sounds like with him yet. Right, so hide from the spells. If he's firing his arrows, just go. Whoop. Two hits on him. You who are are you who are are you who are are you who are are. Right, do your arrows. That's what we want. Can I get him? Got him. Nah, you're dead. Put question marks after them, Kelly. Soul of Gwyndolin. And pick these back up. There we go, the illusion is gone. Let's see what's at the end of this corridor, shall we? We have a room. <laughs> Got a chest. Nothing down here. Kelly's doing it all wrong. Good chest. You are are you are you are just empty. What a rip off. Are you are you Ara, you could, 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 Ara. Right, chest number two. Oh, we get the cool set. I will show you all this set now because I love it. This is the Dark Moon Knight set. Look at it. It's cool. But I already have my upgraded stuff, so I'll be sticking to that. And then last chest we have... Sunlight Blade Miracle. And that's everything in here, I think. Oh, clean the monsters out. Right, so. Nito's down, Gwendolyn's down. Let's make our way towards Seath, shall we? 
and level up a bit. Those two twinkling, can I use them to reinforce anything? Um, put the brass armor in the box. It's as cool as it is, I'm not wearing it. Brass armor is my Dark Souls 3 kit. Uh, no weapons. These need chunks. So let's do some repairs. Level up. 50 strength. If I got enough to get to 30,000, I might do actually. I've got Soul of Hero. It's 10k. Soul of Hero's 10k. Need another 2,000. So we'll just use one of these. So we are at 50 strength. That is pretty much the cap. So now it's all going on stamina and health. We'll just alternate the two, shall we? Um. Uh, was there anything else I was going to get? No. So now we're going to walk to Han Orlando again. Now we have a dead bonfire because the Firekeeper is dead. I killed her. And we head this way. And if I remember correctly, yeah, all the giants are gone. Because the giants were also illusions. All part of Gwendolyn's power and Gwendolyn's now dead. So I can just go straight up this way to the Duke's archives. Is where Seath lives, and Seath is a bitch. But first, we have Piggy, armored Piggy. I once saw one of these as a a model of one of these in a shop in Manchester, and I was really tempted to get it, but it was like sixty quid. If I'd have had the money at the time, I would have definitely got it. Because I've got some, like, pewter dragons. And I got the helmet! This is the helmet I wore all the way through my first playthrough of Dark Souls 1. Fanged boar helmet. It looks cool. Yeah. But yeah, I would have well bought one of those boars as a as a statue if I'd ever had the money at the time but it was gone by the time I got back there like they had a a statue of the Fur I think it's the Fur Arm Knight he's called as well which is the armour on the cover of Dark Souls 2 they had that also two fanged boar helmets nice and uh, this is the Duke's archives. And a bonfire. So let's put these two helmets away. and start making our way through Duke's archives. I should be able to pick up the things I need for the DLC here as well if I remember right. Because I am going to do the DLC as well. 
even though it will probably take me about 500 tries to kill Calvin, I'm still going to do it. So here we have tiny crystal guys. These guys are assholes. Not particularly tough, but because they all use crystal weapons, crystal weapons are like really strong. And we have one of the spell slingers. Although they can drop a really cool weapon, the uh, the spell users. He also buffs everybody in the area because he's a dick. So we will leave the crystal guy alone. Because. Want you dead. Just kill everything in this room. Soul of a brave warrior. This place is massive as well. well it reminds me of the the giant library when I went to uni. Like the old college library, I think it was called, something like that. That place was huge. Like just wall after wall of books like this. anything else in here it doesn't look like it no it's all up the stairs it looks like so we will go back this guy way and kill the big crystal dude and that should get me the stuff for DLC so heavy attack got him Or not. Maybe I was thinking the wrong one. Or maybe I've got other stuff to do first. I can't remember. Do 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 uh, Left or right? Left. There's a guy there. What well, we've got? Let's a left and even more dudes down this way <gasps> and a way out what's out here apart from ambush Drunken tonight that's quite a cool view as well to see the sun and all the rays and our Londo beneath us. Just ignore that bit freaking out over there. You can just see it freak out whenever I move the camera. Right. Dun, 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 dun. we have you are a bad chest two big smacks we have crystal night shield Evie metal shield is elegantly carved and painted although it's thought to have been used by ancient knights of the nobility its defense capabilities are similar to other shields design on it but that's about it there so 
then we go to the other side. See if there's anything in interesting over there. And then we'll take the elevator up. Or the lift. Or whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's only in the UK we call it a lift. Nope. And we have another chest, and you are a good chest. We've got Twinkling Titanite. Lots of Twinkling Titanite. So up another level we go. Crystal stuff everywhere. And a corridor. Ah! Can't even swing properly. This isn't good. There. <laughs> I just climbed off all the walls until it works. Crystal stuff and more crystal stuff and a fog door. So I actually know what happens at this bit. So I am going to cheat a little bit. Put this on. Hey, look, it's the boss. I can't even get to him. Here, yeah, see if I can get you. Oh, basically just stopped me getting cursed and stuff because I knew that was going to happen. Fucking cheater. <laughs> and now I am in a new area. Look, I'm in prison. Yeah, it's alright, Alex. I just cheated a bit, that's all. So if we go this way, for some reason we have been imprisoned with some of the crystal guys. So these guys can get splatted. Woohoo! So it's all pretty and reorganised now. Thanks to tech genius Alex. Can't open that. Now open that. We have a sleepy guard. Thank you. Oh no, he's escaped. Now let's put Seath's record on. <gasps> Yeah, not anymore, Kelly. Right, so... Kill more snake mans. Look, he's just trying to run past me. 
Boss, waiting trouble base, came boss, cheetah. Trouble base, WHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWHWH
One ladies, I'm over here. Can you see me? Or not? Have. No thanks for the grab attack. How about you? <laughs> Caving on Destiny again. Unlucky. She's got a bunch of catching up to do. Right. What else have we got down here? Can't see any more of the tentacle ladies around. Let's do a bit of exploring. There's actually anything else here. Some big gears in the middle. And then... She bought the fucking season pass. <laughs> Is she still on... Is she on PS4 or on Xbox, Dave? We've got two more. These ones seem like they're asleep. They're also slightly tougher than the other ones. What have you got? Miracle Soothing Sunlight, Miracle Bountiful Sunlight. And we have a friend. Hello again. What a chance meeting this is. Alas, I'm in prison once again. I don't suppose you could stage me a bit more. Such a storehouse and knowledge. The thought offends me as a student of the arts. You understand me? So a big hat has got himself caught again. And I don't have the key for it, apparently. Um Where is the key gonna be then? Ah right, mine's on my Xbox, otherwise I would have joined her. Um How do we get to that bit up there? Oh, the girls have been using the Xbox, have they? So there's a door. Right, only the other thing to do then is go right to the top. Unless I'm supposed to drop onto that bit, maybe? Is there a roll off I can do? Or something like that? Doesn't look like it. Or is there a ladder down or something I'm not seeing? Let's go up here. Do I have the key? So there's another cell all the way on the other side. Locked. We're going to have to ledge walk all the way around, aren't we? Or at least try to. So, top level. This might be a bit suicidal, to be honest, but... Let's try it. Yep. It looks to be the right place to go, though. I just missed the second ledge. So, back up we go.
Oh yeah, snake man's. And the radio isn't on this time. So. If I go up here. There is that drop off. And there is a second drop off further down. I've just got to survive the fall. So. What if I roll it? There. And in here we have... Ooh, maiden stuff. White horde, worn by travelling maidens, it is part of their formal attire regardless of rank. Soft and well made, but it's not often much in the way of defence. And the ring was... White Sounds Ring gives you additional attunement slots. Right. Is there another way down from here? Or can I just try walking along this edge? Nope. Right, back up we go. I just need to remember how to get to that bit over there. I think those other two rooms, like that one and that one, and that one further down, I think they're just for decoration, you know. So, you need to roll off to get the distance. And then, you just drop down this bit. Oh, that just goes straight back to the bonfire. So... What am I missing? There's got to be a way around to... That balcony over there. I'd guess. You hear somewhere, but... I just not spotted something. I'm willing to bet I've just not spotted something. That's usually what it is. Oh, you can close the door again if you want to. Like, am I able to walk around on this ledge or something? Nah, it pushes you off of the pillars. Gotcha. See, this just leads down a level to here. Look at all those books. Look at all them books. So that's what I need to get to. I just don't know how. Hey, there's an item over there. Are there ladders or something? I'm just not seeing. an item on that ledge. So. On level with these ones. But. I can't just walk along these. It pushes me off.
Right, let's do some more exploring down the bottom. I have a feeling it's going to be in there somewhere. There's going to be like a... A ladder I've missed or something like that. Look at them all just in there waiting. Yep, ladder. That's what it was. I'm just blind. Snake men's, where are you? I know you're here. have a heavy one to the face. So if I pull this it starts the record player. So what's back this way? Got a chest and a look down from above. You're a good chest? Yeah you are. And you've got the giant door key. Is there any further way up from here? Because there's like other bits you can get to. I just don't see how. Like unless you jumped over the edge or something like that. Is that a walkway? Well, that's a built-out walkway. Hmm. So, where uh, that item is, there is actually a walkway that's built out a bit. It's just getting to it. So the rest of it is pretty shallow. But I bet this just opens the big door at the top. Unless some of these railings are breakable or something. That would be my only other guess. Halo rocket jump. I couldn't even do that in Halo. If you look, that bit sticks out further, so... My guess would have been for part of this being breakable, but apparently not. Wait a second. Let's see. See, that's weird. It bounces off this bit. Bounces off this bit. 
bounces off this bit. But this bit doesn't bounce. around the inside bit doesn't look like it it's got to be a way to do it because I've got a feeling that that key is the key that gets Logan out as well So have I. I've got the key for the like the very top to get out. I'm just trying to remember how to get to this item because I've no idea. Like, there's no other bits that are built out. It's a part of this that's false. Maybe. Oh, I still can't get past that bit. Get to the ladder where the um, snake guys were. Side of these this time. Let's see if there's a ladder or anything on the outside. In case I'm being extra silly. this ladder we go. Oh, you've been playing Assassin's Creed, Beth. Right, let's just start smashing stuff. Oh, Mario Odyssey. It's me being dim again. <laughs>
Do I have the binoculars with me? I don't, do I? <laughs> right. Tell you what. I'm going to go to Lou. And think on it. I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, nerds. Right. Let's see. I know, I don't cheat. It's the only thing I can think of is there's like a, a hidden wall or something I'm missing. Everything. And if, that, if hitting everything doesn't work, I'm just going to leave. Do you reckon I get told off if I uh, answer the man mail line at work? And I went, all right, nerd. Instead of saying good afternoon or whatever. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. All I'm going to end up doing is breaking my weapon. Right, it can only be a thingy wall on a flat surface as well. Right, let's go further up then. See, look, there's another item over there. You can just see the glow of it to the right of the pillar. But bugger knows how to actually get to it. Close which door? steps then. Oh, it's just these guys over here, innit? Yeah, this is where Seath the Scaleless is. This is like his prison. You mean these? open this, seeing as I've got the key for this. Ok, 
at all them crystals. Ah! The only other thing I could think of is if maybe there's like a secret door through here or something that leads to them. Caduceus, sh a Caduceus shield. 100% physical block. 70 fire. Medium metal shield decorated by an ancient Caduceus. Standard slide, widely used shield. It is nothing special. Where are we? Whoop. Stop that. There's another caster above us. How to get to him. You are blocked. You are death. We've been here. Apart from ambushes. I'm just going to start bashing random stuff, hoping for an invisible wall or something. Not invisible, an illusionary wall. It's bound to be one somewhere. Let's go up a level. I saw you. Then there's another archer down this way. No. And here we have also nothing. So if I turn this, does it rotate it? It does. Surprise! Any more along here? There's one all the way along there. So there's another spellcaster I can Oh he's on the opposite side. So I'll have to rotate this one as well. Kill you. the way I came in. Oh yes, turn this one as well, isn't it? Clap. 
and nothing. They're all rubbish. Ah, chest. Strong magic shield. Actually nothing useful in here, just enemies. Rubbish. So time to turn this one round. Is this just where I first no it's not. You are new. Let's explore this bit first. Again, nothing here. They don't like giving me anything, do they? Nope. Nano machine, son. or anything here it was just a way to get that guy and it's a trap right well jump it was literally just a trap um and if you want Brina don't make that much of a difference him following me. Are you allowed to come through here? Or do you just bog out a bit then? Kill all these guys. At least I know where they all are now. Just run around with this arrow sticking out of my face. So Trident Man is here. to turn that thing round, Donna. This is the Duke's Archives. It is the Duke's Archive Prison, I think it's called, where I was. second. Did I miss this bit? We must have. Winkling Titanite. Nope.
so. You need to. round again. And we are here. Remember this little dickhead, it's just a trap to ignore him. Blue Titanite for our magic weapons. And in this one we have a sliding floor and a bad chest. Enchanted falchion, and we have a good chest. And the crystal ember. So if I pull this, that opens stairs down. So what does this other one do? This opens. Secret hidden slidey bit. What have we got here? Is this a bonfire? Bonfire. Right, now we can explore this bottom bit. to be much in here. This fella sneaky fella another sneaky fella and there's somebody with a bow. Oh he's on top of there isn't he? This is the bit that slid out. So, I go up these. Can I get over to him? Can I like drop down onto him or something? Where? On the other side. Yeah, I gave up trying to find out how to get to those things on the walls. I found the bonfire. So I know where I'm going from the bonfire, it's just this bit that's actually a pain. So I don't think there's actually anything else here for me to find. There isn't. This is where the stairs up and down are. So. Let's go down. 
double check this bit. Because I am paranoid. This is like... Elevator. Ah! Nick. <laughs> I got this bonfire. This was the important one. You are nothing. the spell casters they don't want to so it was you who got me right so where does this elevator go Pixels. Oh, back up here. Second chance to get the twinkly boy. Come here. Got you. So, Seath shouldn't be here anymore. So is there anything useful? Oh no, he's still here. Um, the sun. Because there's nothing I can do. Yeah, you can't beat him though. And then it just plops me back in here. Yeah, it is. I've already done it once. I didn't know it could happen a second time. And I have no more sacrifice rings left, so back to Chloranthi. And we should just continue outside. I will run back to the other bonfire I was at. Whee. So we were here. Kill this dude. Is it down these steps I need to go? Yeah, it is. Oh, guys. Chair. There. So, 
pause we're going out here then. Dun 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 And it's through this slidey bit. All this junk machinery and you. You are a good chest. Prism stones. Prism stones can come in handy. So let's have a look out here, shall we? We have some nice woodlands and some big crystal guard. Dun, dun, dun. So, let's go and beat up the crystal guys, like this one. And then we've got a party of three. This fella and a sneak attack. Him. Oh, I must have got him with a counter hit then. Yeah, so there are things called counter hits where you do way more damage than normal. But it's usually when you catch somebody jumping or something like that. Right, who's going to come first? around and my heavy attack has tracking so jumping doesn't help him Bumpy bit. Bye, Breeder. Oh, he was just out of range. Item. Oh, crystalline set. It looks pretty messed up. We will run around the edges and then I'll show it you. Aha. We have you hiding in the corner. And you've got a blue titanite chunk and invisible walls. So we've got these two over near the fancy crystal trees. Got another one up there. He already spotted me yet. None of you have done that before. And he's got like a pixel left as well. Right, 
so that's the way to the boss. Is there any more items and stuff for us to pick up? We've got another crystal dude. He missed me because of heights, that's how he... There's a tree in the way. And now you're all seeing the advantage of the big, smashy weapons. Right, is that all of them? Fears we've gone full circle. Yeah, that was a counter hit. He must have just been ready to jump or something. Well, if you catch enemies, or if enemies catch you in certain animations, it's basically a crit. So... How did we do this? Oh, well, we got this guy first. down here and then oh look it's the butterfly we just jump for. It is a fall to my death if my miss, so great. <laughs> Hello Moonlight Butterfly. Don't think I can actually reach you without falling off. this way instead where the message handily shows me the first way to go but the other way you can tell is by the raindrops falling down this is the developer message by the way so these raindrops falling down or crystal drops whatever you want to call them actually fall on the pathway. So if I just look carefully, I've just got to look at the ones. The splatter in front of me. Now this guy has the biggest chance of killing me here. Because he's tougher than the rest. Much tougher. Gotcha. Now, where was it from here? A message there. Should we risk it? Bugger, let's roll. Uh. I'm not fall. So let's go this way.
Oh. Uh, so he came to hit me that time. He's gonna get me. Let's try and bait out his attack. Right. I can't remember where to go from here. Let's look for the blinky bits. So you're falling on bits. But which way is the boss? I can't remember. Let's try this way, because this is definitely falling on a path. This is just going to lead back up to where I was. So. Look for where they're falling. There. Which way do I need to go? I am confused. Take me in a circle in it. Right, let's bash this fella first then. <laughs> Dead. Right. Now we've killed everything and collected the items, I can just bop through them all. Time for the crazy suicide run. This way past this fella. That attack actually does a bit of curse as well. So go down again. way. Then we have this one. one 
this continue going? It says imminent fall, which is a dev message. So... These sparks are just falling all the way down. And this bit is covered. But I can see. You know, I think that message above me is lying. Because I can see some over that way that are only falling, falling part way down. They don't seem to be spluttering out like they normally would. So. so we're here. We've got Let's go on a bit further. Just aim for this bit. There we go. Did it. I remember the right, there should be clam shells down here. Yeah, these guys. I've already fought loads of these down at the bottom of Ash Lake, so they're not too much of a threat. Purging stone. loads of them at once. Right. Oh, the Persian Stone. So let's stick Persian Stones on the bars. So I know I need to smash the crystal first. Hi, see. There's your double invulnerability crystal. I'm gonna have to go for the tail smash as well because I want to get the tail off every dragon. Bitch. Quick, smash the crystal thingy. Ish. Now I need to get my way around to his ass. Because I want to try and break his tail. Because it is the iconic from soft weapon that drops from it as well to manage it. So stop turning, see. I need to get to your tail so I can hit it.
on the intel. Oosh. Oh, that's a big tail slam. I know where I'm going now. Yeah, it's crazy damage. Like, normally you can just sort of stay in his armpit and you're alright. But, I'm trying to get the tail smash. That's a lot of the tail. Right, can I sidestep this guy? I can. See how far he follows me. At least when I go into the room now, it'll just be straight into the fight. Right. So we're going this way. And then we go to this twinkly bit. And we go on here. Bugger it, let's run. I know vaguely what I'm aiming for. There. So we will fight these guys just because they're good at catching up. They're pretty fast runners. Yeah, my damage is high, but I also take a lot of damage because I've pumped everything into strength and not much into my health and things like that. So, attempt number two. Straight in. Head to his left. thing. I want to stay away from that if I can. Ow! This is a laser beam. Come on, just let me hit your tail. That's all I wanted to. Not bothered about anything else at the moment, just let me hit your bloody tail. Oh, I'm gonna break the crystal again, don't I? I'm an idiot. Crap, let's follow me. There. Right, back to the tail. 
that just as long as you can. Come on. Stop and do one of your spells or something. There. I almost took half his health off and his tail's still not rocked. I might just do all my damage to his tail. But it's going to be tough for him to hit us doing this anyway. Unless he does his tantrum with his tentacles. So stamina comes back pretty quickly. Missed it. And now he's gonna do his tantrum. Somebody got frozen midair over there. that time I was mostly out of the range of it because we just clicked me. Uh, from here, let me smack your tail. Teeth used to be much prettier as well, like you can see all those crystal growths on him and everything. The original Seath before he had all those didn't have any of the crystal growths, didn't have any of those little like feathery bits coming off him. They were just smooth tentacles. He looked more like half octopus, half dragon, something like that. Go with what we've got. I'll try and kill him this time. Getting the tails too annoying. Like it gives you a really cool weapon, which I wouldn't be using in this build anyway. But it gives you the Moonlight Greatsword, and that is a sword that is in pretty much every FromSoft game in some way or another. So in Dark Souls One, you get it by chopping off Seath's tail. 
that becomes the Moonlight Greatsword. In Dark Souls 2, there's two versions of it. You get a fake one from a guy called Ben Hart of Jugo. And then you can get the real one from the Castle in Drowned Lake, I think. Um, Dark Souls 3, I can't remember where you get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to try and murder it this time, Beth. So I will see you in a bit. Have fun. Yeah, in Bloodborne, the Moonlight Greatsword shows up as um, a DLC weapon, I think. Um, in Kingsfield is like the first time it showed up, if I remember right. But yeah, Moonlight Greatsword is like their signature weapon. I am willing to bet there will be a Moonlight Greatsword in Elden Ring as well. But this time I'm just going to kill him. That bit still makes my heart jump. So I thought I'd just fall into my death. Right, let's kill him. It's killing time. I wonder if I can actually sprint past these, seeing as I've got Chloranthion. I might be able to make it. Yeah, I can. So, I'm going to smash the crystal. See, all those spiky bodies are other players as well. Like, if you get cursed as a player, you can show up in another person's world as... I'm going to eat his tail because it's here. But now I'm going to stick to his arm a bit. Well cursed, your HP is halved. Get a purging stone. Which I might actually have. Do I have any more in my bank? I do. There. Yep, dead. I think staying near his tail is the best bet. I've just got to not be right at the tip of it. Basically be in his armpit. And then just run out whenever he tries to do the big, the large crystal curse rather than the tiny one. Because that builds up curse pretty quickly. But I'm going to give him a couple more bashes and then That'll be me done for the night. Bum, 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 bum. So, try and juke past this guy and fail. Wondered how you got to this. 
and all that for a single humanity. E. Right. There we go. Down here. And then we go this way. Then I have a heart attack because I walk off this bit. And then we head straight ahead. I didn't get cursed that time. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a couple more bashes. And then I will go in search of food. But I got a decent amount on him that time. It was just when he went into the tantrum mode I didn't get away quick enough. So I need to conserve my stamina a bit. I get him Darren that'll be three bosses tonight two of them lords as well
That thing hurts if it hits you multiple times. That really hurts. So I didn't even have enough time to get up and roll away from it. Everybody hurts sometimes. <laughs> well, at least I know I can just run past everything, so actual re attempts won't take that long. There is a secret room in here somewhere as well, I just can't remember how to get to it. There is like a stupid long walkway somewhere that leads all the way back. I'm sure it goes to that back wall on my left. I can't even remember what's in there, I just remember that there is one. I can't even remember where it is. Anyway, this way. Right, so I'm just going to go for quick attacks, like I did before. I'm going to try and get to his armpit. I'm just going to work out for him doing his big rashing tantrum. Oh, these guys can fuck off. Oh, I see. I do like Seath Wings. He's got like fairy style wings instead of the big like leathery bat like wings that all the other dragons have. He's got big fairy wings. Right, are you going to throw your tantrum? Or are you going to do a spell? Do a spell. Right, that one missed me. So I'm all right with that. Laser beam. Can't be all the white laser beams, it's just the way that he does it. Fancy, do a spell. I don't want to get caught by your flash. There. See, the bitch is dead. Dead, 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 dead. And I got a Lord Soul Shard. And a humanity. 60,000 souls. Which is all going to go on health. So yeah, these were the things I was talking about earlier. This is another player dying to curse. Whenever you see one of these things, it's because another player got cursed in that area. Yeah, 
fire resistance is for rubbish. Like, the curse didn't get me there, it was his thrash. I literally just didn't have enough health to do it. But back to Firelink. So, first we're going to see the Fire Keeper and upgrade my flask because I should have really done that earlier. Reinforce, please. Yes. Thank you. Bye. We shall level up and get some health. It's also another word for, like, combined. Prism stones. Um. So level up more health, please. stone goes in there. So we've got Soul of Quayla, Iron Golem, Smog, Gwendolyn. We have two of the Lord Souls. Oh we got three of them actually. Nito, Bed of Chaos and Seath. But you're a shard. So we've got to go and do with the four kings. We've got... Where else have we got? I can't remember. Now, Chaos Catan is more of a PvP thing and it's dex based. I'm using uh, strength stuff. Uh, Chaos Katana is good early on as well, but you need the other stuff to go with it. I have Dragon Tooth, I'll be sticking with Dragon Tooth. Pretty much until the end. So, Jesus will keep you out. Crystal can go in there. So, yeah, we've got. Four kings left to go, really. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. So yeah, he's just seen the pyromancy we got from. Why yes, of course. Well, thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. So he's going to go down to Idolith now. Idolith now. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture. And pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine. As, so, for me, turning undead didn't change oh, a yeah. thing. Laurentius is cool. And pyromancy is handy because Please, so. you don't need any stats for it. So... You're still here. Yeah, I did. This guy is here. Hey, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I lose myself. And then... He should be gone because I annoyed him too much. Yeah. There he is. 
So I've got four kings to do, I've got the DLC to do, which includes Painted World. Um, that's about it. So I'm going to finish for today because three bosses is pretty decent. That's about what I wanted to do. Bart's a little bitch as well. So, we shall find someone to raid, shall we? Does anybody get any suggestions for who's online? Um, let's have a look. Brina's an XCOM, isn't he? Right, let's go and raid all over to Brina. And Manu is also a little bitch while we're at it. So Brina's off doing XCOM again. So I will see you all soon. I am working the super lights next week, so I might not be streaming on Tuesday, or if I am, it might be later than normal, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, you missed it, Div, unfortunately. I took out Nito, Gwendolyn, and I've just killed Seath. <laughs> Unlucky. But we're going to go and watch Brina do some XCOM now. So, I will see you all soon. Have fun. And while I am off to go and get food, give Brina some abuse from me. Bye, everybody.